Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. And today, we're taking a look at the mill that now that it is running. It is running. Put the lever on. It's actually pretty quiet considering that little jingle is from the handle on the tensioner. Uh, I ran it straight for an hour yesterday and the belts didn't get hot. So that all goes good. What I didn't do, what I'm going to do right now, is I haven't looked at the power feed stuff yet. Because remember, I've, I'm new to this particular head. So let's turn it back on here. There you go. In there, okay. Just turning. And it is hold on. There we go. So that's cool. The quill's a little sticky, but power feeds all work. Went through all that. So overall, I am extremely pleased with how this came out. I've had some questions about, you know, doing it one way or the other. This is just the way I did it. I do think I'm going to use it for a while, but as I said before, I got a three, uh, three horsepower, three phase motor that has the same pretty much frame number. So bolt right where that one is. If I choose the upside, that's a two horse. So yeah, came out well. I thank you guys for the, uh, positive comments and encouragement you know sometimes just do a little thinking you can figure stuff out so things i'm working on now i put the power feed back on it because i got it i'll, I'll do a video tomorrow or uh saturday i picked up some stuff for some machinist stuff for the shop i'll show you guys i'm working on when I got this milling machine, it was a basket case. It was the head was broken. It was electrical wires on it. It was missing lead screws and stuff. So I made a lead screw for it, and it's always been missing the dial and stuff. And there was a crude uh, piece of pipe with a washer and a hand wheel on it to make it turn. So I I got like four or five of these in stock. So I'm going to make a brass bushing and make it work. When I need to measure stuff on here, um, I just use a mag indicator. So again, this will be mostly used for drilling and tapping. I got uh, some adapter plates I do a lot. I'll be using this, and I'll use it as a general mill. Yes, I realize the way the motor is mounted, it's not going to tilt or nod, but that's fine because... Right behind me, I have another fully functioning vertical milling machine. So I can have this set up for certain jobs and use the other one for general milling. Plus, I do mostly lathe work. I very rarely tilt the head or any of that stuff. Okay, let's find something to clamp to the table and let's do some milling with it and see how the uh, motor suffers. The one question in all this I don't, I don't know is, as you know, I cut the... V groove and the laminations. I have no idea how that stuff's going to wear. So the way I cut it, the belt can wear in quite a bit. But that'll be the longevity of this. If not, I can just I can just turn a shaft, you know, and that'll be done. It'll be interesting to see how long that stuff lasts. Okay, let me put something in there and let's mill it. 
Okay, making some first cuts here. This steel, this is kind of, you can see it's my, this is the piece of steel I play with when I'm testing like grinds on my shaver and whatnot. Very nice finish. I do need to, there's something up here that's super noisy. It's not transferring through here, but it's really loud on the phone. So, uh, let me see if there's a way I can record without that sound. As you can see, we're cutting. And this is also, I have not trammed the head. I've done this all by eye so far. But yeah, that's a fairly good cut. Two fluted in mill and steel. Yeah. Smooth. So let me see if there's a way I can record this uh, without sound, and I'll bring it back. Okay, time lasting it was the only way I could think to. So I just about cut it. That's a nice color to these chips. Get my little brushy poo out. Yeah. Chips going down in the hole. Let me spray it with something here real quick. Yeah. Very smooth. Very good for a first time with this machine. Again, I haven't trammed it yet. I've trammed it solely by eye. Just, I've been listening to it run and, you know, all that stuff you do with a new-to-you machine. And the heights are slightly different. That's why there, you see that line right there. Yeah. Very happy with it so far. So you got in there pretty deep a little bit right there. Threw some nice chips everywhere. So expect to see this machine in a, some well, a lot of videos. Because until I get all the kinks for, worked out, I'm probably going to use it for all my uh, vertical milling for a while. At least the stuff I have to do without moving the head, which is most of what I do. Very cool. Very pleased so far. So yeah. This is Adam, a small town machine shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.